So I'd like to talk now about managing your biggest risk in the business. And the biggest risk for you in your business for a launch company is managing the basics of password security. You wanna make sure that the passwords in your business are well protected and away from what we see all the time, which is someone having a password file, either on a spreadsheet or in a Google document, or maybe it's saved in a contact in your address book in Outlook. And trust me, I've seen it all. I've worked with 1500 companies and over 20,000 employees in all of those businesses. And we have seen all of the worst ways for you to share passwords. Now, what most people do is they'll store a couple of passwords in their Google Chrome or, you know, uh, Internet Explorer, and it'll basically, you know, kind of start collecting passwords there for you. The other thing that people do is they will take passwords and they'll put them like in one safe password file. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that there is another way. The risk of having your password stored in a place like that uh, is basically that when someone is looking to steal your identity or someone's looking to hack your machine, that is the absolute first place they're going to look. They're going to look through your contacts and try and find something called passwords. They're going to look through your documents for passwords and try and find uh, places that you may have stored them. Um, and of course, if you have someone that's inside your business um, and there's the potential for any kind of malicious activity from that person, uh, then if they've got access to all of your passwords, they basically have a, tre a treasure trove of, uh, of all of the information for your, uh, for your, you know, your whole business and absolutely everything. Um, now there is a smarter way to do it and I'm gonna take you guys through what the smarter way to do it is. Uh, for most of us, online security is a bit of a challenge. And, and I say it's a bit of a challenge because there's a, uh, there's a bit of a seesaw. And the seesaw is between convenience and actually having decent security. And we kind of like seesaw back and forward. And when it gets to the point of being too difficult to start tracking all of our passwords or even remembering all of the passwords that we have uh, up in our mind just off by heart, then we default to starting to dump them all into, uh, into that one place. So the most basic passwords are typically, you know, your dog's name and then one, two, three. And I've seen businesses where people have them, you know, the password on their sticky note and they just stick it on the front of their computer. Um, and the challenge is that nowadays, because we have so many different websites to access, uh, it's difficult for us to actually have a unique password for each one of them. And what most people do is they have one password that they use pretty much everywhere. And that one password that you use everywhere then becomes the easiest way to hack into all of your accounts if someone gets access to just one of your accounts. So what is the solution? Uh, well, for us to use a effective method to actually share passwords, uh, we need a password manager. Uh, and a password manager allows you to securely share passwords uh, with different team members. Uh, now, why is this important? Uh, well, it means because uh, it means that you can actually have a unique password for every uh, account that you access. So you can have a generated password, you know, one of those long ones with like 20 characters and, and gobbledygook. Um, but also with a password manager, you no longer have to actually share these passwords one by one individually with anyone in your team. Um, and so I'm going to be taking you through an example of uh, the password manager that we recommend uh, and uh, actually sharing with you how you can mostly effectively, uh, more effectively share passwords with your different team members. So the password uh, managers that are available, uh, number one, you have your Google password manager there uh, and Google password manager is basically, it's built into Chrome. It sits in your Google account as well. If you have an Android phone, it can autofill. Um, I believe Apple also has one as well. Um, so inside, um, uh, inside Apple, there is a, uh, uh, the ability to save passwords and that saves it in Safari. And look, I don't mind these, they're useful um, to store your own passwords and you can use them to actually generate your own passwords as well. But what they don't do is allow you to share passwords with others. And because we're a business and we wanna collaborate and even if you're a solo operator, you've probably got contractors that you wanna share with as well. Uh, well, we wanna find ways of actually collaborating and sharing our passwords with others uh, that are effective. Um, and for that, our strong recommendation is a tool called LastPass. And LastPass is not only a vault for all of your passwords, so it will allow you to store all of your passwords. Uh, it will also allow you to synchronize your passwords across each one of your devices. So you can access them on your mobile device. And when you're signing to different computers, it's going to synchronize them. The great thing about LastPass is it works across different platforms. So it works across Windows and Mac and even Chrome devices. If you've got a Chromebook or a Chromebox, of course, it works on mobile devices as well. But the best feature of LastPass is the ability to have a secure password folder where you can actually share passwords with other team members as well. And I'm gonna demo that for you guys and show you how that works. So this is what the LastPass vault looks like. It's basically like a vault for all of your passwords. It's gonna store them all in there securely. Uh, securely. 
Uh, the actual LastPass app just kind of sits here uh, in the menu bar. So inside of Google Chrome, I can click a button here and, uh, and then I can go ahead and I'll open my vault and that's gonna show you guys all of the different passwords that I have available in my vault. So you can see here, I've got quite a few. Uh, it's popping up here and showing me all of my passwords and I've got like, yeah, thousands and thousands of passwords in there. Um, so that's basically the place that we put all of our passwords. And each time I go to a website and I enter my password manually, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna prompt me to actually save that password. Now LastPass does some pretty awesome stuff like it allow you to do things like uh, autofill. So if you go to a website and I trust this for, you know, even like my banking websites, you can see here, it's just autofilled. I just need to click one button and then it's automatically going to uh, gonna log in there for me. So really, really easy for you to access all the sites that you need to. I can even set it to automatically log in if I want. So I don't even have to click the login button. It'll choo, just automatically log in, uh, which is a nice little, uh, nice little one there as well. Now, why I like this better than using something like the Chrome password manager um, or using something like the Google or the Apple password manager is uh, log me in, uh, sorry, LastPass is actually designed for you to keep strong passwords on each one of your sites. They even have a security checkup where they will check all of the websites that you have and they will let you know if any of those passwords have been compromised and they will also let you know if any of the passwords have been reused or if they're particularly weak. Um, and so it's going to alert you and basically let you know to keep good password, uh, you know, uh, let's say hygiene with your passwords. Uh, and it's going to make sure that you're doing well with your security. So there's some of the most basic features. Not much that's all that special apart from, uh, you know, other ways uh, of, uh, of storing your passwords. But LastPass gets really, really powerful when we start to collaborate. Now, I already shared that you're able to have your password synchronized between your different devices, which is super, super, super duper handy. Uh, but the next thing that LastPass actually lets you do is create shared folders for your team as well. So let's have a look at what those shared folders look like. I'm going to jump into my LastPass vault here. Let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Uh, so inside my LastPass vault, you can see I can go down to the sharing center. Uh, and inside the sharing center, I can basically set up folders. So we've got a number of different folders for the different areas of the business here. And then when I choose uh, inside those folders, I can actually choose who sees what inside the folders. Uh, and so from there, uh, you can see I've shared some with Scott, shared some here with Regina. I can choose whether or not it's read only. So I can choose whether or not they have access to uh, update the passwords. Um, and I can choose if I want to even hide the passwords. And so for example, let's say I wanted to share my, uh, my bank account with Anna. Uh, well, then when I go to uh, to my bank here, I can go to this, um, I can go to this actual password entry and I can go ahead and share the password entry with Anna. Uh, and then from there, Anna can actually go to the Commonwealth Bank and she won't be able to see the password. She will only be able to log in without actually seeing the password. Um, and so great little tools like that allow you to share the login access without actually sharing the password. Now, it's not completely foolproof if you're sharing this with someone, let's say you've got a uh, external consultant to your business, maybe a marketing consultant um, or a, you know, a, a team member who's working with you as a contractor and you want to share a password with them. It's not completely foolproof because if someone has access to the account, technically they could go in there and change the email to their own email. So this is not a completely foolproof way of sharing logins. I probably wouldn't use this for uh, banking logins to share with others. Um, although obviously I do save my own banking password in there. Um, but this is really, really useful if you have a website that doesn't allow multiple users and you wanna share that with your team. I use this often when I sign up for an online course or an online program, and I want my team to access the education as well as myself. Uh, but you know, there's obviously only one user able to access things. I'll save it in LastPass and then I'll share it. And you can see that in this menu here, um, if I've shared something individually with others, um, you can see here I've shared a few different, uh, few different online courses. Um, and then there's some things that have been shared with me. These are ones that I've received. Um, I've got my receiving ones in there as well. So that's the basics of LastPass and how you can use that for your passwords inside your uh, business. I would recommend that you take all of the passwords right now that are inside Google Chrome or inside Safari and put them all into LastPass. Now there is a wizard available when you first set up LastPass that should suck in all of those passwords. But the other thing that I like to do is actually disable the password mechanism inside of Chrome. And uh, we actually do this across the board, across our company via a Google Workspace policy. So if you're already a Google Workspace user and you'd like to roll out LastPass to everyone, we can push down LastPass as a policy to everyone. And we've got other videos on how to do that on our YouTube channel. And then you can switch off the Chrome password manager again via a policy inside of Google Workspace. 
And what that will do is that will actually remove access to the Chrome Password Manager. So everyone is then encouraged to use LastPass for all of their passwords. So let's jump into a bit of Q&A, guys. If uh, you've got any questions that you'd like to send through, please go ahead and send them through. Uh, I've got uh, one from Lynn saying, just joined with IT Genius and I now need to set up my password administration. Um, yeah, good one, Lynn. Super easy to do. Just ask the team um, to roll out LastPass. Oops, still sharing the uh, computer screen there. Uh, just ask the team to um, roll out LastPass for everyone. Uh, and our team can actually do that via a policy for you. That's uh, really easy to do if you're uh, part of our concierge membership. Um, and then the next one is if you want to remove access to the Chrome Password Manager, uh, yeah, just ask our team about that and we'll be able to do that again via a policy. Anna has said LastPass is key. Yeah, LastPass is absolutely awesome. There are some alternatives. Uh, there's one called OnePassword and another one called Dashlane. Um, personally, I've not used them myself, um, but if you are a member of concierge, you can actually get access to some free licenses for LastPass. So if you're interested in that, have a chat to our team. It's a new partnership that we've just announced, uh, but we're actually giving away some free premium licenses to all of our concierge members. Uh, so if you're a concierge member, message the team and ask about LastPass. I hope they don't kill me for announcing it early. Uh, but anyway, jump on that one. Just send a message over to IT Genius on Facebook and say Pete, <laughs> Pete mentioned it on the live, and hopefully they, they, don't, uh, they don't kill me. Okay. So uh, cool, all right, awesome, Lynn has said, I need some help to bring our internal team into the mix. Yeah, excellent. Um, if you have an internal IT team, absolutely fine. Hopefully they're not, uh, hopefully they're not control freaks, um, but you can collaborate with our team. Our aim as a company is to help you out with the really, really critical stuff that we know the best practice on, uh, not to come in and completely control things for your business. Because remember, the aim of our business is to liberate you as a business owner uh, to be in control of your own technology strategy, we're just here to help out with the implementation. 